is always a place that I've wanted to win, and I've always struggled here. Uh, my record is pretty awful going in today, but um, you know, today everything just came together. You know, I had a, had a good feeling about it. Um, I knew if I could kind of keep things simple, uh, not get distracted, uh, not put too much pressure on myself. You know, I, I can play my game, and you know, good things can happen. Um, and I'm just glad everything connected and. I uh, couldn't be more thrilled with this win. And yesterday didn't destroy you. I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, you know, it's actually kind of helped me. I got one game out there, got the nerves out. You know, lost it, uh, missed a couple easy balls, and just realized, you know, it's it's not that bad. It's okay. So I think that actually calmed me down. I, I was pretty nervous yesterday. I, I don't know if I maybe would have played as well, but today that actually uh, calmed me down a lot today. Put you your oh, sorry, sorry. sorry. How do you spend the race day? Uh, sitting inside and watching mm -hmm. Mackenzie McDonald flip bottles. So I, not, <laughs> not much, not much going on there. Sorry, but McDonald? Mac McDonald, you know, he played Murray last night. So oh. <laughs> he's pretty good. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that was it. But we, I got canceled pretty early, so I was out of here by about 7.30, 7.45. You ever had a match before uh, suspended after one game? Never after one game, but uh, you know I've had some suspensions and matches, but uh, yeah, one game is a little weird. But it's almost like we never started. Luckily, I wasn't down a break or it was just on serve. But I think it just allows him to get one free game of free swinging because he knows he has his hold uh, and there's no pressure on him. So if anything, it was tougher for me. Uh, and that first game was tough. You know, it was a couple of deuces. I think there was a couple of break points, but uh, I'm just happy to get that good start. As far as, as, far as your history here and this being your fifth appearance in the first time getting through, how cognizant, I guess, uh, were you of that? And is it because it's a tournament that I imagine you have circled? Yeah, I, I am completely aware of my, uh, you know, how bad <laughs> it's been here. <laughs> but, um, you know, we joke around with all my buddies here and they're like, all right, here we go. <laughs> you know, it's get me out early and just go have some fun. But, uh, you know, this year and like I said, I kept it simple. I'm staying at home I'm with my parents, spending a lot of time with my family. Um, you know, trying to make it like every other week. Um, so, just to kind of get this monkey off my back is huge. I think it's going to free me up. And uh, usually, when I'm you know, pretty free, just like any of these players up here, you know, some some magic can happen on the court. So I'm hoping to carry over to the next round. Francis uh, told us that uh, he still looks up to you. You're kind of still his idol. How yeah. does that make you feel now that you're a little seasoned? Yeah, I know. It feels awesome. Um, you know, I know, you know, when I was younger, to have someone to look up to, someone who's older, someone who's, you know, you know, can help you out with, you know, advice and what to do and what mistakes not to make. Um, you know, I kind of told him the mistakes that I've made and hopefully he can learn from those. Um, he's already surpassed me, um, but I mean, it's awesome to have a really close friend, especially from the same area, to come back here, uh, kind of share something together. It's great, and to see him uh, do well pushes me a lot. You know, I'm looking up to him as well. You know, he's showing, you know, the hard work and the progress he's making. We've come from the exact same roots, mm -hmm. so uh, it is possible to be kind of a normal kid, have nothing, and uh, make it to the top of the game.